Last year, more than 1,100 rural Nebraskans completed the UNL's Nebraska Rural Poll, and results show many of them feel more pessimistic about their community's future. NTV's Russell Ventura shares the details. For 27 years, UNL's Department of Agricultural Economics has been sending this poll to households in rural communities of Nebraska. The 2022 poll results show there is an increase in pessimism on how communities' well-being will look like 10 years from now. I think I was a little bit struck by how down people were about local leadership and about the future of the rural communities. The proportion saying their community has changed for the worse was 31 percent, the highest percentage in the survey's history. Experts say rural communities are facing many challenges like depopulation and lack of local ownership of businesses in the communities. So there's a fear that we're losing our wealth when those businesses leave, and there's a fear that we're losing our people. and. Of course, that always comes back to youth. You know, schools are getting smaller, but then a lot of those youth take off right away. Housing shortages, whether that's affordable housing, availability of housing, quality housing, um, workforce shortages, so not being able to fill those jobs with qualified, um, skilled people, and then access to quality childcare. The village of Axdale is optimistic about their future. With about 700 residents, they are seeing an increase in population, but still face some challenges. Our school struggles to keep up with room and class sizes are getting bigger with the space we have. I know daycare is a big issue. Another thing, we don't have a lot of businesses. We've been trying to get a restaurant into town and some stuff like that. Nelson says there are housing opportunities in Axdale. Those have been selling fast and I feel like we're really getting people in here. She says Axdale is very happy with their leadership officials, but the survey shows many rural Nebraskans don't feel the same way. Topper says you don't need to have an official position to make a change. Thinking about what you can do, even if a leadership position isn't in the cards, what can you do kind of from behind the scenes a little bit to help move an issue forward or um, to help get a group of people together? Um, to make that positive change happen. The people who are in current leadership positions could, and, and in my opinion, should um, mentor sort of the next generation of leaders to help make that transition a little bit more smooth. Haladik says this year, the Nebraska legislature has some bills aiming to help rural communities like LB 740. And this is a bill simply to make it easier for food trucks to operate in your community. And LB 515. This bill would create a grant program for rural counties to hire economic development officials to get a hold of some of that federal money that's out there on the horizon. For more details, visit Nebraska.tv. Reporting in the Tri-Cities, I'm Ventura.